Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo and to my franchise mode. Today we are back in Oak Street City Zoo and today we are back with another episode in our city zoo and we have to fix some stuff in here before we go on. Um, so you have seen the last episode was about this wonderful snow leopard habitat over here which I'm still a big fan of. I changed a few minor things uh, off screen, uh, mainly some kind of stuff about their being stressed the whole time. So they do go back quite often to you know just reduce their stress level um, as you can see over here they are better doing better right now still there is a little bit of a hint here that they are doing bad which they're not doing anymore um, but still there's a little bit of a problem here I, I still believe that the distance is not big enough so I put two walls in here so to maybe um, save them a little bit more from the guests we have to monitor that a little bit more if that ha keeps happening or not because then if it keeps happening we will be putting something else on here to make sure they are not as stressed uh, we still have this one over here I, I'm still not sure um, I think I will bring this animal for a short amount of time into quarantine because I think that is the only way how to do it. So this animal, again, you can see is super stressed. Whenever they go out, they're... Oh, what? Excuse me? You're again on this route? They kind of keep doing that. Just jumping on top of here and just running across that little thing. Um, even though these animals don't really have... Like, they don't even have a climbing need. But they seem to, to just use it quite often. I mean, that is lovely stuff here, you know. I, I wouldn't complain too much, but um, it's... It's kind of hilarious that they just use this thing all the time. Um, it, it looks kind of funky, though. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not even, I'm not even lying. This is kind of, kind of cool. Uh, even especially if they lie down like this on here. I, I, I'd love to see them even having one paw just like, you know, hanging down. That would be quite fun. But still, uh, there's like a little bit of an issue here with them getting a bit uh, annoyed and just pooping for you. But you know, the good thing about this is they're not as stressed on top of here. So I'm just keep that running, you know. Um, what we want to do now is we want to fill in, as I said last episode, we want to fill this gap. Now, I had some ideas of doing this. Um, I wanted to do the... Uh, uh, I, I said tortoise, but I think it would be... Oh, we have to look into that now. Um, yep, they had just offspring. So let me just quickly fix that issue. Uh, otherwise, we will run into some trouble. Anyways, let's just check on welfare anyways. Okay, so the two males are going back to trade center. That is great. Okay, so we've we've done that. Okay, that is, that is fine. That is happening. Now, the next bit we have to do is just kind of keep this area a bit more nice looking. And um, yeah, we will have the connection to our staff members just somehow through here i guess like we do have the connection uh it's gonna be a bit finicky to be honest maybe we have to yeah maybe we just put the entrance here that is just kind of connected with this area i think that should be fine um gonna kind of put that one over just uh, i have still not really a big idea which animal to put in to be honest like we will look into our animal storage first i think warthogs could go in here quite nicely we could make also like a nice little red panda habitat here, like a closed off one. Um, not sure if that would fit in here. We could make flamingos, you know, that would potentially fit in here as well. But somehow, yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. We don't really have that many big cats. We could put it because it's kind of the big cat area here. So it would make sense maybe to have like another cat-ish animal over here, you know. Um, but still, you know, the cheetahs would not go in here. That's definitely too small of a habitat for them. Uh, what we could do here, and um, I mean, we do have the gorillas here, and we do now have the tortoise here. So potentially we could do some orangutans, but again, I think they also wouldn't have enough space. So it has to be like a rather small animal. And I'm guessing that the best idea would be to put this, the warthogs in. I guess, you, you know what, we just do this, okay? Because we can... I think we can make this like a pretty, pretty simple one. Let's just do this. Maybe we can even go on in this episode and maybe kind of start off checking what goes into this corner over here because I think maybe the orangutans can go here. Um, but yeah, let's just first of all build that gate. And as I said, I want to make sure that this is somewhat connected. Uh, well, it's not really working, is it? So we could connect this here. That is the, the only area where I can... Wait... Yeah, let's do it that way then. I won't mind this being a little bit offset to the left hand side. Why not? You know, this is not too too much of the crazy thing. But still, let me just put that one here. Just copy that one over. Quarantine passed. Oh, I've never seen that message. 
I have never seen that message. Okay, so yeah, um, then how about moving this animal back into its habitat? That would be quite fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, uh, but this is, uh, this is interesting. So maybe this uh, kind of works then. I'm not sure if that works though, but anyhow, okay, so we still have to monitor the animal alerts. It still has that. I mean, I'm gonna trade this uh, Zion out of the zoo just because it, it kind of annoys me the whole time. Okay, so fix incomplete. Yeah, well, thank you for that message. That is absolutely valuable. <laughs> Holy moly, why would you do this? Um, also kind of, oh, ah, that's the wrong mode. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I gotta, I gotta keep this this normal mode here and we're just gonna go a bit shorter shall we just like uh, tilting that a little bit more there you go and then we can also bring that a lot closer here to the pathway where we actually need it so there you go and then we can just uh, follow the line a bit more um, nice I'm, I'm just going to ignore that bin for a moment I'm quite ca quite confused why the bin is just being ignored by the game itself but well okay um i think i want to kind of cut off this corner a little bit here so just to make sure there's some gardening going on so we're just going to, uh, don't worry I'm, I'm not sure if i keep that wall though um also makes sense to just you know use that bit over here as it is already so kind of like that and then we just pull that thing like here and then yeah just kind of create the boundary as it goes here and then just use the more or less natural border as we go through the rocks here and then um, yeah, let's keep it the way it is and then we just kind of build this from over here again uh, there you go still one animal issue only that is a good sign uh, I because I just want to make sure that this is not going to be a problematic zoo because we are playing on hard that means we will always have to keep an eye on um, yeah having refunds and stuff coming in this is always still a risk you know I, I you know as as great as the zoo is performing right now uh, it's never said that this will be working this way whole the whole time now this is quite a big habitat for the warthogs I guess um, let's have a quick look yeah that might be enough also for them having some babies and stuff maybe we can even mix them again together with the ostrich I guess it still didn't work. How do I get this done? I mean, I did this and I kind of, I don't know, call vet. I, pff. yeah, it has eaten food. Okay. Do I, do I put down like, I have these signs down here. So what is the, what is the, what is the issue? I'm not sure. Like I have, I have, I have no idea how to, how to solve that issue guys. But anyways, okay. So what we do with this barrier, first of all, I'm just going to go all right and then back to one meter and the same goes on the other hand side i mean they won't be jumping over i don't know if the ostrich would do um ah you know what no no we are just not doing the ostrich we are just going to keep that one habitat i i really do hope it works um i like this broken shelter a lot so maybe we are going to utilize that one here and then yeah it also kind of works for the warthogs if you ask me um so the spotted hyena is still doing some stuff. Yeah, I think we're going to keep that shed here. That is lovely. Um, I think this is really a cool little little touch here. And um, it's, the only, it's the only shelter I would think is suitable here for this wonderful animal called the warthog. Also, we do have a lot of other stuff in, in here in the blueprints that we might be able to use. Maybe not in that habitat, but just in general. You know, we have this kind of stuff here. Uh, which I would love to use at some point and we've got this wonderful clock tower Which is also kind of a cool build for some shops. I want to utilize that somewhere and We have also some cool gardening stuff and you know all that kind of bits here. Oh, I'm, I'm being attacked again by mosquitoes um, We have that obelisk fountain, which is pretty cool But yeah, we are not going to look too much into that uh, this right now. Oh god, well, my, my words um what I want to do though is um, fences. Wait, there was one new set of fences I wanted to check out. So we have this one is the classic fencing we had already. So there was that. No, wait, which is the. Is that. You no, know, this set is already available. Um, oh, that's the new one. But I think I put that down already, right? Is that like. 
this one here. No, where did I put this? Because I remember using this set. Did I? Was that just another one? No, that's the same one. I just I just moved it down. Um, I guess I want to... Which one shall we check out? This one is kind of neat. I think this one is kind of neat. I think I'm going to I'm going to use this one over here and then just follow the lines over here. I mean, this is this is just like fitting in here right now pretty well. So just going to keep it this way. Um, let me just see uh, the, 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 the series introduced covered. Yeah, well, it's going to be taken. God, can you, can you just mature and I, you know, oh, wait, I'm, I was just making fun, but they will be maturing every second now. If I'm not completely wrong, so let me just have a look. They should be lifeline-wise, yeah, a few months. So we have to monitor our. Oh, it's a, it's about to snow. Is that right? So we might get some trouble now with, uh, yeah, our wonderful animals some at some point. But you know, we have to look into that as soon as it is starting to snow a little bit more. Uh, you know what I will do over here? I will just um, use this habitat and kind of make it a little bit smaller than it needs to be um or the, uh, no than it actually is right now <laughs> sorry not needs to be but you know just making sure that we have like a, a straight line here i think that looks a little bit nicer to have that this way and then what we can also do over here i think it would look nice if we have like a little bit of a mixture here in between the walls and then oh, no just like that Okay, and so what we will do here, I'm not sure if I can, no, I have to do it both. I'm just going to say curve barrier top and then, oops, that's the wrong way. So minus 20 and plus 20 is the twist. Okay, so let's do the same here. Curve minus 20 and plus 20, that's right. And now what about making this the other way around? Minus 20, oh wait, that, that's not the other way around. So it's like 20 and minus 20 does this work yeah that like kind of looks neat um oh my lord okay pause the game because we do have multiple low welfare issues now because i guess this means now wait what what's the issue right is that not no 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 because oh oh i thought it was the heating going on but uh nope never mind mm. <laughs> this is insane. Uh, can we just quickly go to the animal tab? Thank you so much. Welfare. Yeah, that is that is for sure. Um, yeah, let's just select all of them except two. Oh my god, this is just going to keep that one because it's gold. Do we have like another gold one? No, we don't. Um, but we need, I think it was a female, right? Is there like a, at least a bronze? Yeah, Pablo is like a bronze male. That's fine. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Just send them to Trade Center. There's a little bit of money left for us. And then, yeah, our animal is not in the ideal temperature. Um, oh, I didn't even see we have a baby lion as well. Oh, hello. How are you? You're a bit freezing, right? Okay. So, you know, in, in order to make sure that you... This looks, by the way, this looks fantastic with the snow just like... I don't know why, but that just looks absolutely cool. Um, but anyways, well, obviously it looks cool. That's snow. <laughs> Sorry. Um... <laughs> It would make sense, I guess, to have them connected to these fooders, you know. So we have got one here, and then we just bring it all the way to here as well. You know, there's a second one going here. So that is one. There's the other one is here. And then obviously we give them a heater to into this building. So let's just move it all the way over. Wait. Hello. Just... Oh, that's in the roof. Yeah, no, we don't want it in the roof. We just want it under the roof and then just tilt that like this. And boom, there you go. I'm not sure if that's enough already. Let's have a look how much this heats up. Um, you can see the circle now smelting the snow, which is uh, a good effort. Good effort there. i um, just going to put another one just on that one here. Because I feel like that might be clever. So that is built. So they should be back in the ideal temperature when they stay there. Um, they still have dangerous fighting going on in the hyena habitat, which, again, I'm not really sure why, because there were still... Yeah, so this, this dude is infertile. I don't know. I 
could just get rid of all of those and get another male one. This is exactly what we will do right now. It's going to release all of them to the wild. Doesn't really give us much. But then we go to animal trading. And we go to look for a spotted hyena. SP. There you go. Filter that one. Lovely male ones over here. Let's go for a good fatality one. Longevity is, well, that's kind of meh. Okay, come on. Produce some, produce some good babies and you do your job. That's fine. You know, longevity-wise, not the best idea, but, you know, that's always good. Oh, wait, we couldn't even... We couldn't even... We can only rehome. Yeah, okay, so there's still Chata left. Uh, we can release that animal to the wild. Good, okay. So the other one will be, will be brought into the zoo now, and then everyone is happy. Why did I even pause the game? Now it's raining. I... You really do annoy me, mate. You do really annoy me. Uh, but uh, but okay, okay. So lion, everyone is everyone is having fun again. Awesome. Okay, so we are going to make this like also like a little bit of a muddy muddy adventure in here. So um, that is for the warthogs. So I want to give them a proper little mud bath uh, thingy, you know. And this is why we are just going to wait. There you go. So I'm gonna put this down here. It will create a different pattern now yeah this is uh, well I can put that here I can put the other one just here awesome because now what I'm going to do I'm just going to well, smooth I wanted to say but somehow yeah there you go just kind of uh, create this bit of better connection here and then just smooth it all out so it looks a little bit more natural I also want to make sure that this is not too muddy all over the place, but, you know, just so that they can still go into their enrichment things and then just keep on... Oh, wait. <laughs> I can just make these things more muddy. I mean, that that is fun as well, but this... Yeah, my idea was actually to... Okay, so if that's the, if that's the case, it doesn't really matter much because now what I will do... Can I select both, by the way? Yeah, I can. And just move them a tiny bit deeper. There you go. And what we will do now, I mean, this doesn't work because <laughs> that's kind of funny though because of the water in, um, but it doesn't matter. So what we will do, we will just keep the foundation here, just make it that way. Just have a quick look how it works with the water. Yeah, that's that's getting a bit closer. Just want to make sure that this is super muddy. Even I, I think I want to have them just ever so slightly higher. And let's see how it works with the water now. I just want it to slowly, slightly peek over, you know, just a tad bit. I think it's still, it can still be a, a, a little, a little bit, you know. Yes, uh, this is exactly it. Okay, so what we will do now, we're just going to use that one and make it way less sensitive, so to say, you know, and just kind of paint around here a little bit. Why am I not able to? Oh, this is because of the gate. Ah, oh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just going to just going to try and make this all look a bit more muddy. I I'm not even sure if. Uh, no, that's the. Is it still? Is it that bad already again? I would love to be able to do this also on the other side again. Ah, oh, okay. I gotta have to. Gotta have to do this and then. This somehow works. Okay. I, I think I wanna I wanna keep it that way. And what we will do now, we just paint all of that like this and now I will use a bit more of this tool here to just make it all a bit more aligned and not too weird looking okay I, I can't really change much about this but yeah so let's just let's just do it a bit more like so and then we will we will try to make sure that this all looks a bit more uh, nice and I don't know smooth smooth is the word I was looking for smooth it boothy and then we're just going to kind of make everything soil already because they definitely love soil um, so yeah this is also how we created a bit more uh, of an area which they hopefully um, have not that much traversable area so the habitat is just about right for them so yeah that's the kind of bit of water I wanted to have in. Yeah, that's definitely enough. This is this is how I wanted to have it. Uh, I s wait. That was I'm not sure why this even works. Okay, but however, so we've we've created that, so we can smoothen this out here a lot more. So here you go. 
just making that all look a bit more natural. That is cool. So the keeper will also be able to still move at places. And what we will do as well, we will now look for some logs and stuff to lay them down. Oh wait, no, it's in. It's under construction. Ha ha ha. So let's go for log, and then we are just going to put down this one. Yeah, there you go. This is the kind of super log, which is all. Whoops, always been placed in these kind of habitats. Uh, so just put another one down here in the back and then um, yeah I think it's also kind of cool to have some other stuff uh, just like in here like this and then just have another one maybe lying here in the back you know just just a tad bit more uh, natural looking habitat in general so let's use also some branches because they also give also just kind of a little extra touch to a habitat if you ask me you know that's my personal opinion but I think this just kind of makes it a bit more how zoos actually would do it especially city zoos that's like the only little element of uh, design and style they can use so yeah that's that's why I'm using it here so animal wise we are still good okay let's go back to nature and have a look what we can do about some rocks you know Getting in with these more muddy rocks, here you go. Uh, just making sure that this is still in. Just making sure it all looks a bit more decent. Uh, and this transition over here lo looked a bit weird to me, so that's also why I'm just going to change a bit of all of that here. Just making sure that this all works. Uh, just get in with a little bit more rock work over here. Yeah, that can be a slight transition like this. Just get in with a bit more here. Just put some smaller bits here and there, you know, just kind of doing like that. I think also um, we will need to have some African kind of stuff in here in terms of uh, foliage, you know, uh, that will be happening soon as well. Uh, but for the moment we are, we are safe to say that we're just continuing this way and just kind of making sure that all of it looks rather nice and simple. So just as a little, it almost is like a gap filler habitat. I'm not even going to lie here because it is what it is. It is a gap filler habitat, but it's not a bad thing. You know, sometimes you just, you just need those kind of habitats and even real zoos, they, they obviously also have these kind of gap filler habitats somehow, um, even though that would never call them that like that because every animal is uh, valuable to them um, and so you know that's that's not what you would say but I think you get the point okay so let's just also put some coarse sand in and we can just try to just brighten up these areas where we where we have the stuff lying down so as if there is no um, no water coming to here or just like you know just having this this bit more burnt ground i guess that's what i'm wanting to say uh snow leopard is about to have offspring that's cool so at least that means they haven't been too stressed lately uh which is uh, somewhat of a good sign um and then also let's just as i said uh, look into some african stuff here uh no sorry it's kind of grassland and then Africa. I think we will find hopefully one or two plants we can use in here. So yeah, I think it's the same ones we had last time. So yeah, just like put that one down and then we have... <sighs> I like this tree, but I don't like it. It's weird, I know, but I also like that one. Meh, 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 meh. Can we also... Can we also have... Uh, okay, I have to, I have to look into that. So it is the um, warthog, common warthog, there you go. And they like natural habitat, biomes, grass, and oh, and tropical. So maybe we find some stuff in tropical as well. Let's have a look. Filters, continent is fine, biome is also tropical. Just want to make sure that maybe there's another tree we can use that looks a bit nicer. Yeah, there you go, this is the same. I used also for the, oh, this is rather small though just gonna put it in the back here you know that works that works definitely and then yeah 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 yeah, yeah. we don't really have that much oh but we can f potentially fake something let's have a look um, so we could use that one just rotate this I want to have like a tree here okay so this is where I want to have the tree and then we just kind of use this bit to just fake it and then so they they have their desired sets of plants in our uh, habitat and still I have my bit more bushy kind of European tree there you go it's not like 
it's not like it, it it won't get me prizes you know but i still think it works out just fine and then i'm not super happy with how the barrier turned out so far like i, I like the little roundish idea here but i don't like how this turned out to be looking so you know what we also could do we could also use this here finally as a hatch um, at some point and just put some plants down that should look good um, but one thing we definitely need to make sure that this looks a bit better is kind of a kind of a little pillar or something let's see if there's anything you guys provided because I know you guys provided some awesome stuff here so maybe there's also something in there I can use Ah, this is the bin. This is this kind of fountain. I, I think it yeah, doesn't fit there. Uh, oh, no. One of the lemurs died out of old age. Not a good thing, but also not a bad thing. So zebra crossing. I like that one a lot. You know, you could all, always put that down here like so. I mean, why not, though? Just put it down. It's like a little bit cool of element. Love it. I love it. I just love it. Okay, but there's not like deco stuff. So in case you guys want to provide some more stuff, deco is the thing. Okay, so I think it, ooh, 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 the, uh, the, oh, uh, the, no, 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 no. So finally, we can sell you. <laughs> um, how old are they? Still doable. Okay, so you two will be released to the wild. See you later. Can I finally? Get rid of this. Ah, okay, it's only that message. Oh my lord, yes. So that means we are nearly good to go. Oh my god, finally no more messages. Guys, I'm so happy. You can't you can't even imagine. Okay, so there's one free now to research these animals. Great stuff. God, I, I was just scrolling so quickly now that I thought I saw a new animal. I was totally in shock for a second. But it's not, unfortunately. Okay, so before we continue... Um, let's throw in, oh look at that, that's a good spot here, um, so we're just going to sell some more of these uh, wonderful spiders, Center Trade Center. I know that many people will be happy to sell spiders, let's just quickly do this, there's a lot of money already in here, so let's have a look, select all, quick trade, quick trade, confirm, give me the money, oh we are already well into the 300s, we're doing some awesome money at this point in time, which uh, is really cool, but yeah, let's bring back our warthogs into their dedicated habitat, and I'm not even sure who's family and who's not, so that's a baby, um, I think the babies can actually be moved in here, fertility is not good, oh, are these the inbred ones? I definitely want this one, Loads of babies, guys, but um, I think I want to. I think I want a new one. Just making sure that we have a bit of a nicer mix, I guess. Like we have a lot of those now in the market uh, place, which we can hopefully use. Uh, I want to have like another female one. Yeah, fifty-five. That is all good. So let's put it in. That is great. Great stuff. Great stuff. Okay, we gotta wait just until they deliver those. Um, again, I'm not like super happy with how it looks right now. So we gotta have to deal a little bit more with this. Why is the species food enrichment not good? Good. We are now looking into making this better. Okay, it is the Galapagos. There you go. Let's say food enrichment here. You get a new ball. Ball is happy ever after. You get a new spiky. I mean, you you basically don't like this anymore, I guess. Uh, you want to have like a block of ice. You can have a block of ice. There you go, black of ice. Okay? You're more happy now. You're more happy. Yes, stress level a bit higher. Oh, because I haven't changed this bag. Uh, my bed. My bed. There you go. Less stress for you. Can I also, while talking a little bit weird here, can I also just make this bit here? I can't, it's a bit too much to the, to the street, I guess. Ah, uh, then just leave it as it is. Uh, lion has matured, which is mostly not a good idea, but as it is a female, that is totally fine. Ooh, what were you just doing? Um, so see, that is... Um, never a good idea, so we're going to 
release this dude to the wild quickly. There you go. Is there anyone else? Um, oh, have I forgotten to... 11.4, so that means the other one has matured, obviously, too, right? Where am I? So here you go. So are you the young... No, you are the you are the mama. You are the mama. A mama and papa. And you are the other young one. See you later, alligator. Animal is stressed. But it's a fluffy baby. Oh my lord. Hello. You are a fluffy little baby. Okay, so uh, we gotta have to change this again a tiny bit here. Uh, simply because I feel they will need their privacy a bit more. So we are just going to do this and follow this line a bit nicer here. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah. Sometimes the game doesn't let me just kind of create that completely free and it, it just kind of connects back to the grid for whatever weird reasons. Uh, so what we are going to do is going to make that one-sided and then no, I was already the right side. Okay, so I hope that this reduces their stress level a bit more. It doesn't even care, matter too much for the people here, but you know, for the, for the animals, that helps hopefully a lot. Just making that a bit better. I think it's a clever solution, right? So animals, um, are they back in? Oh, they are. Oh, look, this is. I mean, okay. So this is exactly what I wanted to create, guys. I mean, that is the that is the perfect scene here. Hey, can I? doesn't even do this exactly how I want it but you know this is exactly the scene I wanted to create and they just do it as if I have asked them to do it like oh my god look at look at look at this this is so perfect just having that dude now looking into the camera look at that this is the this is the wonderful warthog playground you know what we just keep that game paused for a second because I want to keep on building on that scene wait we can maybe just let, let it Walk a tad bit more in here. Yeah, that is perfect. And now let's have a look how you guys doing. So enrichment, yeah, you you're missing on food enrichment. Um, it's a little bit too much coverage, you say. Mm, we can delete that one. No one needs this one. So what about now? Is the coverage better? Yes. So we can actually put some some tiny stuff in if we want. Um, and I, I think I saw some stuff we could use. So that is creating some crazy shit, but that is good. This is the this is the stuff I wanted. So just having having some minor bits here and there, you know, just making a bit of greenery work. Nothing crazy, just as if there would be something growing out of these areas. Just making sure that this is not wrong and not too crazy. So here you go. Just a little bit, making this all look a bit more nice and then yeah, maybe here it just grew a little bigger. Why not? Okay, 43% um, coverage, which is um, still okay. Uh, I think there's also because that one is inside of the habitat. So here, this, this kind of big European oak tree. I mean, sure, we could delete that one. And then it, you know, would look a lot more decent for them. But that just kind of takes away the entire character of the zoo, which is uh, absolutely not the idea. But oh my god, this is... Just so scenic and so perfect. I don't know. This will definitely be the thumbnail. Something like that, you know. It just kind of is exactly carrying the mood over I wanted to create with this this habitat. And this is just so classic and lower down. And I don't know. It's just... Uh, it's inch perfect, guys, as I want to call it. Okay, let's keep it playing. And for the moment, I'm also willing to see if... Um, nah, there you go. The problem is, I have seen that you are like way too old. Are you getting infertile then? Uh, because then again, I need to... We just got you a friend that is uh, whatever. We will see if they produce some babies, that's fine. If not, well, then not. Um, but however, I want to go now for the warthog and you need uh, food enrichment. Was that right? So there you go. Um, oh yeah, they also have like the, is that correct? Do they even have the, I'm a bit confused that they actually use, um, wait. Okay. Yeah. Well then again, um, I should have thought about the fact that maybe, <laughs> okay, well, 
I mean, okay, I guess hedges are not. This is me being sandbox player, okay? Please don't add me. I mean, <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, don't worry, guys. It's it's not too dangerous. It's caught already. Look at that. They're just like all crushing in a way. <laughs> what is go? Sure. Just babies again? Okay. Zoo has problems with Mo. Oh my god. Okay. It doesn't even matter who I keep or not. This is just incredible. So Rhea and Dommel again did a great job. Move them to trade center. Oops. Everything is great again. Are you all going? Please don't leave the zoo because you will come back. I know you will come back. Also, also, I think we just need one more vet. Because if they would be faster, we wouldn't. But ah, these vets, these vets, they just take too much time. So there you go. Hey, wait, you just created and you just destroyed this again? No. Wait, how you... How and why? Move back. Eh? Hey. Okay, this is kind of weird because I think they should not be able to escape here. Oh, are they using some... Okay, so let me have a let me have another look. Okay, so there's nothing they can destroy, okay? So in case this is, you know, if, if that keeps being a thing, I'm just exchanging that with a normal kind of, I don't know, normal wall, like an in-game wall, and it should be fine. Also, also, so this woman is still okay, 2.4, but we don't have a male, so I'm, I'm going to see, do we have like another male in here? I mean, yeah, yeah, but it's just like all albinos. <sighs> yeah, well, let's get another male then. That's a good one. 30. I don't know. Let's move it in here. And we will get rid of the other male. Is that the other male? Yes. So I'm going to release you to the wild. Four. See you later. Okay, so that's fixed. <laughs> Holy macaroni. That was uh, a little bit of a little bit of a scratch here. Anyways, okay, so we are quite nicely done with today's episode. We're just going to make that area look a tiny bit better and then we'll, you know, call it a day for today. But that doesn't mean we, we are going strong strongly. God, what's on my, my English? My English uh, strongly on, I was about to say. Did this warthog just jump like a madman a second ago? I just saw that in the back and I was mad. Is there anything... Um, this is all lying. I want to have something that is stray. Nothing like that. Yeah, that is good. This is what I need. I just want to make like a little bit of a border here. And I think I'll go with this piece. Yeah, why not? Just having something else here, okay? It did jump. I saw it again uh, at the right-hand side of my eye. Or maybe it was just a shadow here, but I'm, I'm quite sure it wasn't. Uh, that looked a little bit weird. Anyways. Oh, God, the weather looks so good in this game. I would love to borrow some rain right now. It's getting hotter outside again even though it's already it's quite like towards midnight like 10 minutes to midnight while i'm recording so you know that's the only time at the moment where i am able to record and uh, i'm not like completely destroyed by the temperatures that is what you want to say and um, also i think we have to change one bit now in order to make sure that we yeah i will have to change it because i'm otherwise i'm not allowed to put like some yeah, that was already pretty decent. Uh, let's connect that. Okay, so this is good because then we can delete this bit. Because I just the, the reason why I did this is just to make sure that I, I put down some plants now and the game is not hating me. So reset all the filters. And we're just going to take these ones, you know, just rotating them in a little. We will also just change this like slightly. Just making sure it doesn't all look too similar. Just putting down something else here. And we can just also have these little flowers in between some 
not all of them you know making this all look a bit more different here and then how about that just to fill in the gaps yeah that looks that looks nice to me there you go it is also leaning inwards of their habitat a little bit so yeah see that is exactly what i said what is like all of these let's remove all of them is it is it back to good it's still not back to good what what else is in here so ivy where's all the ivy then oh the ivy is on that building four percent we can actually delete the ivy ah we are nearly back in the oak tree still is a little bit of an issue that one is two percent what else is big this is five percent it doesn't even matter. I just keep it the way. How, how? It's 96. I don't care. Oh my lord. Rhea again delivered. This is just Rhea. Stop it. You're, you're going mad. Vipgast has arrived in my zoo. Lovely stuff. Whoever that is. Um, okay. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it a bit more simple here. Just let, let's just go and do it that way. Because the... Yeah, they are just uh, complaining otherwise too much. I want to put down another tree just here now. I guess that's the last thing we do. Just to keep it a bit more nice looking. I'm going to put down that one in the corner. I think it's not leaning into the habitat, so that should all be good. And then is there anything else like a cypress tree? Like, let's take a little bit of a bigger one and put that here. And another big one just going here. Okay, I guess that should look good. And... Um, yeah, whatever. Not going to look too much into that. Guys, this is it already with today's episode. And I think it really was a good one. Bengal tiger's about to mate. Vet research is good. Let's just get rid of this last little bit here. Um, so obviously one thing we don't have on this side, by the way, is education and donation boxes. Let me just quickly get some. So let's put them all here. I'm not even sure if that's the best thing of doing, but... Um, yeah, I think it's in, in general that looks really cool. Um, and now the only thing we have to do is just put down, oops, uh, put down these education boards. So let's put that here where those things are raised. That makes a bit more sense. And then just like warthog and warthog. And there you go. Guys, we are done. And um, I think today's episode was really cool. This zoo is coming together really nicely now. Look at, I mean, this is not even looking like a franchise zoo anymore. This looks like somewhat of real, no, well, not planned, but like a real organically growing zoo. And if we make sure that this area over here is going to look also as nice as the other stuff looked, I'm very confident that this all will be a very, very cool zoo. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to do more in it. However, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And for now, that's me. That's Camel out. I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next one. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I was really happy to have you here. In case you enjoyed it and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to consider subscribing. You can do it via this button here. And if you want to see more, uh, there's some cool other stuff linked here for you. This is suggested for you personally. That's pretty cool. And in case you want to support the channel a tiny bit more, you can do it via this wonderful Hype Camel link over here. I really would appreciate it. And also, big thank you already to all the people who do already support the channel. Really do appreciate that. But now, have a wonderful time, guys and I catch you in the next one.